Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's podcast. We're calling this podcast Keys to the Kingdom. Liberation, joy, truth. And as always, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe to us over on Apple iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor.fm, Stitcher, or Spotify. You can check me out at Hector Salva, H E C T O R S A L V A dot com. And there you can find YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Kungan Hector. So, moving right into today's topic Keys to the Kingdom. So, the kingdom is the kingdom of the ultimate, the kingdom of truth, the kingdom of God, however you want to put it. And these are the ultimate keys that everyone is in search of. Whether you realize it or not, you're working towards searching and looking for the keys to attain ultimate freedom, joy, and truth. And the keys to the kingdom have been talked about over and over again. We're talking about heaven. But the churches, the religions, the priests, many have created much falsity around the teachings of truth, around the wisdom, and have gone and basically created false views of heaven. Okay? Which cause you to constantly be away from heaven. So, what I want to bring into this truth talk today is a statement by Jesus, one of the enlightened masters. Jesus, Buddha, Krishna, uh, Mahavira, all of Muhammad, all of these many enlightened masters as we have discussed in another podcast, okay, all speak in various expressions about truth, about the ultimate, about the ultimate truth. However, as we discussed in the other podcast, religions formed around these people and their teachings and have distorted the truth. So when Jesus was asked, he was demanded of the Pharisees of when the kingdom of God should come. Okay? Jesus answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Listen closely. Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Okay? Now there's many, many different translations of the Bible. Okay? So... Another way that it's been translated and said that may be easier for you to understand is Jesus responds to them, the kingdom of God does not come with observation. No one will say, see here or see there, the kingdom of God is here or the kingdom of God is there. For indeed, the kingdom of God is within you. Okay, 
the kingdom of God is within you. Sometimes this also is translated as the kingdom of God is in your midst, among you, amongst you. And both is true. It's both amongst you and within you. Okay? God is both around you and within you. People are taught through the church's teachings and through many of these other such teachings that heaven is away from you. It's far from you. Beauty and grace is far away from you. But that's not what was ever taught by sages, enlightened mystics, or masters. Okay? In fact, another quote from Jesus is... Do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Let the day's trouble be sufficient for the day. You have to listen very carefully. Let today's trouble be enough for today. Let today's problems be enough for today. Don't be anxious or worried about thinking about tomorrow. Religions, priests, beliefs, dogmas, ideologies have you hankering for heaven tomorrow. One day after death, at some point you will reach heaven. You will reach this joyous, beautiful place. You will reach the ultimate bliss and freedom. But that cannot be. For the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of truth and what is eternal is within you and among you. Because it is within you and among you, it's not something that anyone can see or say, here it is or there it is. One who has attained the kingdom, no one else will be able to say, this person has attained, that person has attained. They won't say, here it is or there it is. They won't be able to see. They won't be able to see. Okay? And I br want to bring this into another quote of Jesus. Which is, if you bring forth what is within you, what you bring forth will save you. If you do not bring forth what is within you, what you do not bring forth will destroy you. This has to be understood clearly. People are hankering for heaven, for a day or a time or a place where they will be liberated and free, where they will be joyous. But you've been told many, many times the kingdom of heaven is within you. It is among you. It's so close to you. 
the heaven of the priests and of the dogmas and of the churches and of the ideologies and of the religions is tomorrow. It's far away from you. It is after death. But that is not where it is. That's not what any of the teachings have ever taught. And I'd like to bring in the teachings of many of the enlightened masters of the sages because they have been so misinterpreted and religions have been built around these masters. Religions which are filled with false beliefs, ideologies, and dogmas. And they take you away from the kingdom. They take you away from truth. They take you away from freedom, joy, the ultimate liberation. And any master, all masters throughout time, have two jobs to do. And that's to destroy all that which is false in order to bring forth all that which is real. And so Jesus says, if you bring forth what is within you, what you bring forth will save you. You will attain the kingdom of heaven. You will attain the truth. The truth will save you. The truth liberates you. The ultimate truth will set you free and bring you joy. If you do not bring forth what is within you, what you do not bring forth will destroy you. Here is your heaven. Here is your hell. That which is within, it can save you or it can destroy you. If you cannot bring forward the kingdom, it will destroy you as it has destroyed many, many others, and as it continues to destroy, filled with gain, guilt, shame, look at that, guilt, shame, sadness. The kingdom cannot come forward. The kingdom cannot come through. Okay. You're not bringing forward. The thing about all spiritual teachings, all teachings of truth, is that in order to understand and unlock them, you have to have attained. And that's where the tricky part comes. You need them in order to attain, and yet only when you have really attained can you truly understand them and use them. Right now, you can't see this. You can't see where the ultimate God, truth, whatsoever you want to give it a name or not, no name. And his kingdom or its kingdom, the kingdom of the unknown, of the unseen, of the un invisible, of the eternal truth, is within you, and you can't see it right now. It's a process, it's a journey. And it's a journey inwards. True spirituality is not a journey outwards. It's a journey in. In order to bring forward 
that which is within that is true and drop all that is false. And there is something very, very important in order for you to reach, in order for you, for you to bring it forward. For you to become bliss, joy, truth, and freedom. For you to attain salvation. Heaven, glory, and so that you can be saved from destruction, hell, but there are a few necessary tools that are needed to help you on this journey. As long as you continue a search in the outer you cannot attain the kingdom which has been waiting for you on the inner. Jesus also stated, Ye are all gods, you are all gods. Verily I say unto you, You are all gods, you are God. But where you are at, in the state you are at right now, without having brought forward the kingdom, without, ha without having realized and really manifested, made real in your life, your divinity, you are the seed. You are the beginning. I got cut off there for a second. You are the seed. You are the beginning. It is there. But falseness has to be dropped. Looking in the wrong directions has to be dropped. looking for a heaven sometime later in your life after your death has to be dropped. Many people have come to me, have said, when I reach, I imagine that I'll never have to come back to earth and that's what it would be ultimate for me. Then you would not have reached. If your point of doing the work is to never come back and never reincarnate and never come back to earth, then you have not done. You have not reached. You are against the world. You are against the earth. You will have to come back. That's not the purpose of the work. The 
world is beautiful. But you are a seed, and you are a seed that has to come to the realization and the attainment. And I mean to make real, to go through this journey, this quest. The quest to achieve your total potential, to achieve your totality. To attain the kingdom, to attain truth, to attain liberation, to attain freedom, joy, and bliss. And in our next podcast, I'm going to discuss what are some of the things that you really need in order to succeed on that journey. what you need to succeed. But you have to start looking, looking in the right direction first. I hope and wish you all the best. Many blessings to all of you. Don't forget to subscribe to me for this podcast at iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor.fm, Stitcher, or Spotify. Check me out at HectorSalva.com. You can find YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, links, somewhere in there. And... Subscribe to a podcast so that you can become first to hear all the new topics and so that you can hear this next one that's going to come out, what you need in order to get that ultimate freedom. Many blessings and keep the faith.